Hey, it's Jesse K, and I have already been sitting here filming another video, and we're gonna be doing a round two. So I had someone ask me about how I set up my lighting and filming equipment for my videos, what camera I use, all kinds of really good questions. So I figure since I'm already sitting here, uh, maybe I'll show you, I can show you my room too, just show you around a little bit. I'll kind of include a little bit of a tour, probably not a nail polish collection video yet because I think I'd want to have something protecting my nails since I'll be digging around. Um, that's totally how you take nail polish out of Helmer's, just so you know. So I will just grab hold of this and I'll just uh, show you what I do. Okay, so I just took myself off of the tripod. That's how close my neighbors are. And I think this is their closet window. And I really hope they don't like watch me from there. Like if you are, hey guys, how's it going? So here's a little tripod that I use. And here are my umbrella lights that I recently got. Before getting the umbrella lights, I was just using the daylight from this window, but now that I've really incorporated these lights, they were like 40 or $50, that's it. Um, my videos, the video quality has gone up so much because I use my iPhone, for real. This is just me filming with my iPhone 6. Um, so it works, really, it works really great when you have the right lighting. So this is, um, what's the name of it? I can look right here. It's Luma Studio. <laughs> That's the name of this. I got it from Amazon. I'll leave the link below. Um, so this, that's how I'm filming. That's all that you see here. Um, so when I film my nail videos over at my desk here, um, yeah, here's all the deco that I just filmed. I need to, I need to put that away. And then I use my husband's phone to look at all my old pictures for that. Um, so when I film videos, I usually just use this lamp with this claw that Sage got me. It just, look at that. It's super sturdy. I have my Bundle Monster Lotus mat. It's a silicone mat that they had sent me. Um, and then I have this super basic <laughs> lamp that I think I got this from the thrift store. <laughs> So it looks really dirty. I never repainted it. I just have this kind of light bulb in here. It's a daylight bulb. Daylight bulb. It'll say that on the packaging. This one was from Walmart. It was just a couple dollars. Having that bright daylight light really helps with the pictures instead of having more of a yellow light. This is more of a white light. Sometimes I will have another lamp going as well. I don't know where it is right now. And now that I have these, it came in a set of three. I think I forgot to show this one. A set of three stands in the light bulb. And then the umbrella. So sometimes I'll put this on the table now. Sometimes I'll point these at my hands too, but it's a little excessive and it doesn't always need to happen. Just clip it here. You see, this is this is where you're going. The claw! And then I have to line this up. Oh, my got nail cuticle oil is going away. Okay, so go here. It's really flexible, so I pull it down. You can still see my gel overlay. I'll zoom in with my cell phone. I'll do a long press to lock the zoom, and sometimes I'll even increase the brightness. And then that's how you see me doing my nails. Super simple process. I really like it. Um, this is something where you have to make sure to not bump your table a lot. See how it, yeah. So it's just shaky shaky because um, that extendable little claw arm is, um, uh, it's very flexible. So it's good because you can move it um, every which direction. But sometimes I'll uh, pull this up. Okay, here's Sage's giant phone that just went onto my Instagram account. So I'll just, Hook it up right here. Hang out at my desk. Oh, did I hear it? What's funny? So now that that's figuring itself out. <laughs> yeah, I'll just do this. Hang out at my desk. FaceTime somebody. Paint my nails. It's really, it's really sweet. And this is how I clip it whenever I'm like doing a Periscope broadcast. I will go through these another time. We'll get all the, all the polishes 
in there. This is where I've been storing my deco polishes. So that's where all that's empty. So I have my Serendipity, some NCLA, B squared, ice cream lacquer. And then we have more things on this side. My untried drawer. Here's the China Glaze and the Zoya drawer. I'll just give you a little bit of a tease. My picture wall, I need to add more people on here. I love this so much. Look at my baby. Look at my, she's so little. And then just some pretty polishes, some scarves that people have got to me. Um, Sage got me this one from Hyderabad, India. There that goes, my sister got that for me, sorry. <laughs> my sister got me this one too. And then, my best friend Darcy, her mama, brought me this from China. She's the sweetest sleep ever. Sage gave me his old gaming computer. Sorry, my wires are hot mess to render videos with. It's been nice editing um, on the TV. So nice to use. We're gonna have a surprise. Let's see <laughs> what's on here right now. It's nice having a tripod. Let's see. That's my name. That's what he calls me. So this isn't gonna be any kind of like tutorial on Hitflow 4 Express. I just want to show you a little bit of, um, yeah, of what I do on here. So let's see. We'll just do the newest, the newest one that I did. So they have a ton of tutorials. Sage made me this logo. He's an amazing graphic designer. So he went to college for. We're mostly just focusing on this part down here. Well, this is all the editing that I have um, and it's something that's uh, just been really quite the learning curve but I'm figuring it out. So oh, look at that, it's a lovely face. <laughs> so that's basically what I do to edit and I export and then I upload to YouTube and it's getting simpler as I progress in my practicing for it. Okay, and here's my face again. Thank you to Lumos Nails for requesting this video. This was really fun and weird to do. It's gonna be probably the most awkward thing that I ever upload onto this website, but let me know if it was okay, if it helped you, any questions that you have. I'm really happy to help whenever I can. Until next time, bye.